from Vince Scully Avenue. Welcome to Dodger Stadium. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway. And on the mound today, Julio Urias. Well, he's putting together a really nice season on the mound. ERA and below threes. Very respectable when you consider. Guys are looking to do damage. They're not trying to just walk and hit singles. They're trying to hit homers and draw walks and score runs. So when you have a guy that can limit the other team from scoring more than a few runs, that's really tough to beat game in and game out. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. And digging in for Philadelphia, Josh Harrison. That one's in there on one. No ball. One strike. Next pitch has popped up. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it. And there's one away. And time now for the Phillies lineup. And a key factor for this club in that leadoff spot, Alec Bohm. Well, these days we know teams, you know, they put a game plan together for every hitter in a lineup. But a guy like this, they circle him. Make sure he doesn't beat you. Uh, so you know they put in a little extra time and effort and on how they're going to approach him. He can be a huge difference maker when he's hot. So it's going to be fun to see how they try to work him right here. Boom. At first, one gone. Battling here as he fouls it away. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. The 0 2. Swing at a ball popped up. And puts the squeeze on that. Two away. Batting four. The shortstop, Trey Turner. Trey Turner at the plate. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. Turner had a really good college career at NC State. He went to the 2013 College World Series and led all of college baseball with 55 stolen bases that season. Pretty incredible. And now the lefty. And that one lifted in the air center field. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. So they can't do anything with the leadoff single there. On to the bottom of the first. No score after a half inning. Back here at the ballpark. And our pitcher tonight, Bailey Falter. A very forgettable start his last time out. Was only able to work a couple of innings. We're looking for him to put it all together today. Command, tempo, and just really a confident presence out there on the mound. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Leading up for the Dodgers. Not shortstop. And a pitch. Line drive. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. Makes the turn. He's digging for second. And one pitch into the inning. It's a leadoff double. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. And now it's Gavin Lux. And first offering is fouled off. Well, the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. Oh. 
Runner at second, nobody out. And he hits a ground ball right side. Gets it to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. That is good. The first time now for Dave Roberts' lineup for the Los Angeles Dodgers. One thing these guys do very well is stay out of the double play. They've hit into the fewest of any team in the league, Chris. The boogie. Bounce to the right. Harrison fires over to first. But the go-ahead run comes in to score. Well, there it is, a little old-school manufacturing of a run after that double. Ground out to get him over, and another ground out to get him in. Nice job to get that RBI. Cool. So two down right now, here. and here is Andy Pajas. Didn't play in last night's game. A little breather for him. Hard hit, right side. He steps on the bag, third out, and that ends the frame. So they get one run, one hit, no errors, and nobody left on. On to the second now from Dodger Stadium. It's the Dodgers one and the Phillies nothing. Welcome back. Second inning set to go. Now, JT Real Muto. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he Go does. Out. Throw on to Freeman, and Real Muto is out. That is it. The designated hitter, Nick Castellanos. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. It affects the game in so many ways, right? Your ability to come back is usually tied to power. If you can deliver a huge hit with one swing of the bat, it really changes your capability when you fall behind. Kicks and deals. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Everything came together for him. We've that all seen the defensive it. shift the make a big baseman. difference in Jerry. defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as oh, expected, no. but he found a hole that time. Derek Hall in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Ball to strike. The pitch. That oh. one missed. And fouled off. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Nice grab on the run. And there's two away. The center field, number 16. Brandon Marsh. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh oh Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Going to now. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Castellanos leads off first with two down to the inning. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Castellanos on his way to the plate. He scores to tie it up. It's 1-1. Well done, drives in the run. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. In for a strike, and a count is 0-2. All you got to do is concentrate and execute this next pitch. Get yourself out of the jam, back into the dugout. Next oh. one misses, and that's ball one. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. Makes the grab on the run, and that is that. 
Phillies with the run scoring double. All even at one apiece. It's Major League Baseball and it's on the show. Yeah, you know it's me. You can't stop my shine. I'm just doing me. Yeah, I'm going to take a pick for the more to see. Catch me on the scene. Look at super clean. Tonight we going to flex. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Bottom half of inning number two. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Austin Barnes. Falter back to work. And a foul ball. You'll want. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Around first and hustling for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. You got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. So up next, James Outman. And Boog, I'd say he's due. And he swings oh, and misses at the initial offering. No outs, runner on second. In the air, left field. Hauls it in for the out. Batting seven, the third baseman, Michael. So digging in, Michael Bush. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Marsh moves under it. Drops into the glove. Runner tagging for third. And he's up to third safely with two gone. Batting eight. The second baseman. Chris Taylor. Chris Taylor now. No RBI spot, but Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh now he can't squeeze it behind the plate. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. Out to short. Turner with the throw to first. Taylor out of the play. And that'll do it. So the Dodgers leave one. Score remains deadlocked at one. Out of the third inning, and here's the Phillies' leadoff man, the Alec Bohm. Alec Bohm. And he deals. Bohm, in his third season, hitting leadoff in today's game. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. And now it's even up. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And a 1 1. No. And that one fouled off. Bounce to the left side. Bush whips it to Here first. It. One up, one down. The batter number two, second baseman, Josh. Harrison. Josh Harrison digs in now. 0 for 1 so far. A 
Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he saved it first. Runner on at first with one gone. And now here is Harper. Harper. In there, and it's 0-1. Certainly, you'd say Bryce Harper's signature moment, Game 5 of the National League Championship Series in 2022. That opposite field home run that put the Phillies ahead and would send them to the World Series of the Padres' Robert Suarez. The 0-2. Struck him out swinging. Had him way out front of the slur. Here's Turner now. He's 0 for 1. Turner playing up the middle at short. 29 years old, and he won the Silver Slugger at his position in the National League last year. And that's in there for strike one. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. Harrison off of first with two away. The pitch. Fly ball down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. There's a swing and a drive. With a low 90s fastball, you have to live on the edges and hit your spots. If you don't, you'll get hit hard. Really good swing there. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. That's down. One hops off the wall. And he's got a double. Back-to-back -back base hits. Pull that one right in the direction of the shifted defense, but no one could make a play on it. I mean, that's his approach, and it's probably not changing. Castellanos stands in now and watches strike one. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. 0-2 oh now. This one popped up. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, and makes the grab. And that will end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in L.A., J.D. Martinez stands in. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just... Hammer, and this one could be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. Fires to second too late, and he's got a double. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. That ball was drilled, 106 off the bat, and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Miguel Rojas steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Doubled his first time up. Fly ball to right. One away. The center fielder, number nine. And next for L.A., Gavin Lux. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. That one fouled off. Falter in his second season, he features a two seam fastball, a four seamer, a curve, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Not a swing you want to watch again. That's off the mark, and it's one and two. It's a good take. In the dirt, blocked. Real new toe to first. And he's out. Throws down to second, but he scrambles back to the bag. Well, obviously, that was nowhere near the strike zone. By the time it got to the plate, the first people at home watching five. are thinking, what's he swinging Ready. at? But I'll tell you, some of the brave guys snap off these days is just devastating. It can be so tough to recognize where a pitch like that's going to end up. Slings to first, and Freeman is retired. As we go to the top of the fourth, and now for the Phillies, Derek Hall, the pitch. 
And one ball, ball one. You know, these Phils doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there oh. on the mound. Pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. Looking. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was no taking bad. it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a okay. miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. And one and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And now the count is even. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. The punch out there. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Up next for Philadelphia. Dalton Guthrie no stands in for the Phillies. In. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Good oh. eye right there. One and out. Check swing didn't go. Ball two. And yeah, that's outside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Here comes a pitch. And he walked you, him. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. And now it's Alec Bohm. In there for strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Kicks and fires. And it's fouled away. Here's the 0-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And the 2 This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Phillies strand one and the score stays three to one. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the right fielder Andy Pajes. The right fielder. Falter back to work. 
Right side, hard hit. Harrison fires over to first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And first offering is fouled off. And that one hammered. That's back there. And that one hops the wall. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. One out, runner at second. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. The pitch. In the air to left down the line. And that lands in no man's land a foul ball. This to center field, and it drops in. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Now the third baseman, Michael Bush. That's off the mark. Ball one. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. First and third, one down. Next offering is in for a strike. Snap throw to first. Out and back easily. And the pitch. Tap back to the mound. Over to Turner for one. Over to first. That's two. Nicely done. One, six, three. And that will end the inning. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and one man left. On to the... Back here at Chavez Ravine. Top five, John Chavez with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Josh Harrison. And a pitch. And a foul ball. Well, these Phillies, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. He takes it on his own, and a quick out number one. Bryce Harper. Here's Bryce Harper. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. On the ground, right side. Takes it himself. Two up, two down. The batter, number seven. Shortstop, Trey Turner. Two outs, base is empty. Trey Turner stands. in for the Phillies. Singy, how about this? From 2019 through 2022, Trey Turner had a higher slugging percentage than Carlos Correa, Corey Seager, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., and Ronald Acuna. Two outs. Check swing, and that's a ball. That's big right there, being able to check your swing. Think about the count swing. Instead of 0-2, he's sitting 1-1 against a really good arm. Sends it to yeah, first, and they get Turner for the out. And the Phillies are set down in order. Three up, three down for Philadelphia, as the lead remains 3-1.
back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And yeah, the batter now, Chris Taylor. Chris Taylor. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. That's hard hit on the line. Makes the catch. One down. Now back. The designated Here's Mookie to hit. Taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. That's the third. And that chance handled. Gathers and throws to first. And that quickly, two away. Now batting. Shortstop. Miguel Rojas. And the batter will be the shortstop. Miguel Rojas. One for two. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Tosses to first. And that is that. Dodgers down in order. And they still trail it here. Three to one. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. Urias back to work. Yeah. Chris, do you know what JT stands for in JT Real Muto? Of course, Boog. It's Jacob Tyler. And a pitch. Ooh. Strike two. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Going two now on the ground and it gets by him up next for Philadelphia the designated hitter Nick Castellanos at the plate now pitch misses inside 1-0 and Castellanos a former all-star 31 years old he joined the team as a free agent foul ball The pitch. Now one out to right. Pajes makes the grab one away. Now back. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Derek Hall. In there, and it's 0-1. And he flips a breaking oh, ball in there or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. Real Muto leads off first with one away. It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Julio Urias done in this one. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Jimmy Nelson. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Tapped out in front of the plate. On to first. Yep, Got him. The center field, number 16, Brandon Marsh. And digging in for Philadelphia, Brandon Marsh. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That's in there. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. 
It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're... Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Excellent work out of the Dodgers bullpen there. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Phillies three and the Dodgers one. Welcome back, bottom of the sixth inning. And now here's the speed threat, outfielder Gavin Lux. Swing and a miss, one one. Ground ball up the middle, that's a base hit. The first baseman, number five, Freddie. Freddie Freeman up to the Freeman. dish. Line drive, that's a base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Now at the plate, Andy Pajas. Hit weakly on the ground. Turner whips it across. One away, bottom of the sixth. Good two-seam action right there, running away from the batter. Rolled over it, got the ground out. Four. So two in scoring position with one out. And the batter now, Austin Barnes. And he can't come up with it. Throw to first for the out as the run comes in from third. James Outman steps to the plate for the down. Pitch hitter coming on, David Peralta. Looking for a two-out hit with a runner in scoring position. Swing and a ball popped up. Turner makes the grab, and that's the inning. A run on two hits, and they leave one. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Phillies three, and the Dodgers two. Staying in the game on defense, David Peralta. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Well, one run game. Dalton Guthrie stands in for the Phillies. And the right hander back to work. Going oh. one. Hey. And a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Liner picked on the hop at first. He's out. Freeman takes it to the bag, and they get the leadoff hitter now in the back. seventh. Third base. Alec, Alec Bohm stands Boehm. in for the Phillies. One for three. Ball one there. One-one now. He swings and fouls one off. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And here it comes. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two away. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. I thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. Harrison, the up. next to hit, takes outside.
Riding to the plate. Popped in the air, left side. Barnes makes the catch in and over. Down quickly, go the Phillies. And it remains a 3 2 ball game. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Michael Bush. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Out to short. Turner with the throw to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Now it's the second baseman, Chris Taylor. Into center. He's under it. That's out number two. And now it's Mookie Betts. Grounded out his first time. Out to center. And that is that. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They're down three to two. Three in the morning. I'm in the zone. Leave me alone, please. I've got a habit of doing my own. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Bryce Harper to the plate. The right fielder, number three. Bryce Harper. The wind and the pitch. Ball one, oh. no strikes. One ball, no strike. Line drive to short and caught. One's in there, 0 and 1. They're only say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. He's a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. Next oh. offering is down low. And 1 and 1. Hit on the ground to the right side. He'll do it himself. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now batting. Catcher. JT. Real beautiful. And now it is JT Real Muto. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Late in the game, everyone gets a little tighter. Way to get ahead on a really good hitter right there. Liner, base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. And his third hit of the game is a triple. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach is head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. At the play, Nick Castellanos. And takes low for ball one. And that one is in for a strike. One, ball, one, one way strike. to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two, strike. two outs with a runner at third. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. That one lifted to left. Brings it in for the third out. One left for Philadelphia, but they're up three to two. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Craig Kimbrell. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. Ground ball up the middle. Nice grab. And he beats it. He's safe. 
The effort from both players involved in this play just really stands out to me. I mean, you got the diving stop in short, which was outstanding. And how can you not love the hustle flying down the line? That's just great baseball at an extremely high level. No outs, runner at first. Now the number two hitter, Gavin Lux. And that one fouled off. The 0 1. That one to first. And it's through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you enough. Really important at bat coming up now. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Way back in gone. Freddie Freeman pops one out of here. Third home run of the season, and they lead it. It's 5-3. strikes at this level typically are hit a long way. Matt Strom into the game. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these guys better be ready to swing the bats. And up next for Los Angeles, Andy Pajes. Lifted in the air, right field. Harper makes the catch, and there's one down. Now batting, catcher. Off next in. up, the Dodgers catcher, Barnes. Austin Barnes. Foul ball there. Way inside gets out of the way. Still only one out here in the inning. Struck him out looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Peralta swings through that one as he comes to the play for the second time today. Swing and a ball popped up. And it falls. And that keeps the inning alive. Well, as hot hitting continues, he's been getting great results lately. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to. And you're never trying to do that as a hitter. But when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. And now Michael Bush lifted in the air out to left. 
Guthrie makes the play, and it's out number three. Big three-run shot for the Dodgers. Last chance coming up for the Phillies. Going, going, yeah, we in go mode. Back here in L.A., we go to the ninth, and now the first baseman, Derek Hall. Nelson back to work. Ripped on the ground a second. Taylor whips it to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now batting the center fielder, Brandon. And now for the Phillies, Brandon Marsh. First offering misses the mark. Next pitch is popped up. Puts the squeeze on it, and there are two down. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Last chance for the Phillies. Now the left fielder, Dalton Guthrie. And that's in there for strike one. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. Into the outfield base hit. And that extends the inning. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying oh. off. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Bounce to the right side. And that is the ball game. Well, these guys were able to take the lead in the bottom of the eighth and just cruise to this win, getting those final three outs at the top of the ninth. Excellent job of securing your home field and keeping the fans in the ball game all the way to the end. Nice W all the way around. The 5-3 final score in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.